Hello and welcome to another episode of 10 TCGs, 10 booster bags. Today with my first pack of Star Wars Unlimited Shadows of the Galaxy. I actually think it's set number two. I think it's set number two. Uh, Cardfight Vanguard, Alpha Clash, Universes, Girl Power, Akora, Puzzle and Dragons, Vice Schwarz. DMM Games, uh, the project release, Origins, and ZX. And yeah, you will probably see a lot of new stuff, and it's new for me too. As I said, uh, I try to show some TCGs that I don't regularly open, or I just don't, uh, don't buy whole boxes from since I can't afford it. I'm still curious how the cards are looking. And even if, like, Star Wars... I totally forgot that Star Wars is uh, bought from Disney. Man, this... <laughs> but then I was remembering, like, oh, man, there are so many new spin-off series that are really, really bad. So, yeah, I don't know. Could have known this since, like, Disney is milking everything to death. Uh, okay, the... Why are there so many double-sided cards? Well, this is actually cool artwork. So I will probably not open a lot of Star Wars Unlimited booster packs in the future since I try to avoid Disney at all cost. It's a very bad company. Let's see, the cards are quite thin. Yeah. Pirate Battle Tank. And I'm yeah, I'm not a big Star Wars fan, to be honest. I'm more of a Dune guy. Man, if you haven't watched Dune, you, you should go and watch it. Uh, both of the movies, they are so nice. Uh, Ruthless Assassin. The, the, <laughs> the card design is so confusing. Why is the artwork suddenly on the bottom? And Why? So this is an event. Events have the artwork. This is so confusing. This is the first time that I see a, a TCG working so much with like placement or like card design that's really weird uh, I guess the rare cards were in the beginning since they had like this uh, this holographic somewhere yeah this one yeah this is the rare card so the rare card is in the beginning <laughs> double sided Different card design. This is so confusing to me. But yeah, the that star looks not bad. Nothing super special, but oh, we get a foil card. Just uncommon. Ah, and there are print lines. I don't know if it's visible on camera. Hmm. Try to. There are a lot of lines going here. So quality wise, not the best. It's always sad when the the foil cards come scratched, but I I mean like a lot of the or like most of the new Magic the Gathering foil cards. I mean like a Magic the Gathering like foil means nothing. Since the collector packs as like everything is foil. But yeah, we get universes. Uh, they recently had the Attack on Titan release, and I really liked it. Looks very nice. The background is more like simplistic. There's no texture, nothing on the back. And for this release, they have only used the the anime art, I would say. Oh, also a foil card. Uh, what kind of rarity is this? Foundation rare? I, I really like what they did with Attack on Titan. I will probably be able to show it on the channel in the future too. Um, or oh, it depends. I don't know when this goes live. This should go live in November. So my, maybe in the meantime I've already bought into the Attack on Titan universes. But uh, what they did there is they used the manga art and color 
I gave it color, colorized it. Yeah, and they, they didn't just use the screenshots of the anime. And this is really amazing to me. Can't fight Vanguard and we get, not this is not a Triceratops. As the name says, Tri means three. So this is a Sturo something. Yeah, Sturaco. Yeah, it's not the, the scientific name, but something like this. It's not a Triceratops. But it's a dinosaur and dinosaurs are great. Okay. What a... Sexy cheerleader. Man, I would really like to get sheared by her. Top ancient dragon. Yeah, the foiling is foiling is really ugly. The pattern effect, I don't like it. Yeah, but this is also like one of the older sets of card fight Vanguard. Made in Malaysia. Still the, the only TCG I remember that's made in Malaysia, I think, as far as I remember. Uh, what else? Alpha Clash. I think this was some kind of, or oh, it's still ongoing, some kind of Kickstarter printed in China. Yeah, a lot of the Kickstarter TCGs and more indie TCGs are now made in China. I uh, not really know what to think of it. Let's see how they look. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. And yeah, this is some kind of, of very focused on superheroes. Even like the, the cover of the Wooster Pack reminds me of uh, the boys. I don't know, maybe you have seen it on, I think it's on Amazon. But yeah, very focused on these superhero type. Black. I like the, the full art artwork. Not like it's in a small frame. Denver. Piercing Strike. San Francisco. Okay. Amazon Rainforest. And Talk. Yeah. I'm not much into superheroes. Also not into Marvel. Not super bad the artwork. Just probably like just not my my vibe. What else here? And the foiling. I don't know. It has a sheep feeling to be but maybe that's that's just the bias maybe if i haven't re if i didn't read that it's made in china maybe i would not be so critical maybe this affects my uh, my view of the cards maybe i try to find a reason to not like them but it also feels like there is you can see there are some marks in the surface hope it's visible on camera so, yeah, and it's not, it's all, it's some kind of roller marks. Yeah, now I found a reason to hate them. Oh, this sounds so bad, but uh, they all have on the same space here, defects, all of them. And my guess it's from production. These are like some kind of, they're all dense. Every card is dented. That's not a PSA. 9 nor 10 yeah I'm very critical like I guess it's just affordable to, to print in China compared to to other countries it's just yeah too expensive especially for indie or small TCGs but I don't know I, I don't like it so much where are they made uh I think I've seen an unboxing from this some time ago and it was incredible ugly and I think it's already dead so one of the the hype TCGs that got made in the coronavirus time and yeah the design the whole card design 
I mean, it reminds me also of, was it Elastrals, which also looks super bad. And yeah, there's also surface damage in the cards. There's a scratch going here. Warped Kamikuzu. And yeah, the artworks are just super low effort. So bad. I don't know if they used AI, but it's all made like from one guy. Takashi Kaito, who probably just spend one afternoon and draw all of these artworks. This sounds so critical, but yeah. These look really, really ugly. The whole, the whole card design is just cancer in my eyes. And this is probably my, my most negative. Uh, 10 TCG unboxings, but yeah, I, I tried to mix some some TCGs I never seen before. So for my next unboxing, I will probably um, open some more similar TCGs again. But DMM Games has some nice some nice artworks, but this time we just get a rare. It's another like now dead TCG, but. Very pretty. It was just very expensive back in the days. And this is from Kadokawa, Puzzle and Dragons. It is a mobile game or was. Not sure if it's still ongoing. Made in Japan. But yeah, Kadokawa, I think they are also pretty big into producing anime figures. Don't think they have another TCG ongoing. Okay. Artwork wise, I don't think this is like something super cool either. Yeah, probably these are not special artworks for the TCG, just artwork from the game, I would guess. And there's one rare card with a gold stamp. So no foil, but uh, the name and the frame is gold. Or at least they are not damaged. Puzzle and dragons. Uh, White Swords, Bocchi. Yeah, White Swords will have uh, the Niki release next month. Or I hope it arrives next month in December. Really excited for that. In general, I think, or I feel like uh, White Swords is a bit overrated. Oh, we get a super rare. Oh, man. Nice, nice expression. Yeah, they have on the super rares, they have texture in the background. And I recently read or like saw a comment about someone who said like the, the Y Schwartz texture is better than Union Arena, but I was like, no, it's not. But I don't know, I, I tend to not try to like discuss things on the internet, then it's really just taking away your time and I don't know if someone has the opinion of about something it's like okay believe what you believe or think what you think I, I don't care where are these made I think this is also already dead if not I will probably add a comment or something uh, where is it made I want to know if I paid it already Made in Canada. Oh, Canada, my home and native land, or something like this. Uh, yeah. Looks very, like, high fantasy style. Hmm. It could have been made in China, too. <laughs> Electric Strike, but there are many cards in the pack. Isaku Ruma. Maricha, common. Oh, yeah. The the rarity type is so huge in the bottom. Common, uncommon. 
warp strike. Uh, no, the artwork is not great. Maybe it's just like unexperienced artist. Oh, this looks better. Uh, yeah, I mean, not not everyone can start with doing art for the big, big TCGs. I guess you have to start somewhere. Uh, this is the rare. Dedicated studies. Gives me like the, the Lich King on the Ice Clone vibes. Party soup. Roundhouse kick. Yeah. yeah. The artwork is not that great. But I'm not really into like the, the high fantasy stuff. Also stuff like sorcery. Not like my, my main thing, as you would guess from the name. Like my main main style is of course uh anime TCGs. So let's end with one of the older zillions of animex. They are not they're also not very great. They have this uh shatter foil on basically every card. And the very plastic finish. Like I like the newer zillions of animex a lot more. The kitty and super rare, which uh, it's super rare is the same foiling, just the gold stamp border. But yeah, today we we saw a lot of new TCGs, or I opened some that I've never seen before. Uh, let me know what do you think about some of these TCGs, or if you have played with them. Maybe some of them are not dead, if even if I called them dead and. Yeah, if you are into Star Wars, check out Dune. Dune is so good. Amazing, and it's... I think it's not owned by Disney. Oh man, I now I need an answer. Now I have to Google it. If Dune is owned by Disney, then I will stop watching it. But thanks for watching. If you haven't watched the first three episodes of the series, please uh, go and watch it. And for more unboxings, subscribe to my channel. Bye.